And I apologize for those who have been hurt by the things that were said was not my intent. A controversial choice of words is followed by an apology. I, I'm sorry for those of you, every single one of you, that has been hurt by things that I've said. After dozens of school districts closed Friday to allow teachers a chance to rally in Frankfurt, Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin said he guaranteed a student was being sexually assaulted while at home. Some House lawmakers from both parties on Saturday condemned his actions. It's so speculative and I, I wish he hadn't said it. I feel like they were up here for a good cause. They're trying to get questions answered and to denigrate them is just not right. On Sunday, Bevin looked to bring clarity to his comments. The responsibility for communicating things falls on the person in large measure who's doing the speaking. Sometimes when I'm doing that, I do it effectively, sometimes not so much. And I think this case is such an example of the latter. Lawmakers quickly responding. In a tweet, GOP Representative Phil Moffitt said, quote, Governor Matt Bevin's apology is appropriate and I accept it. In a statement, House Democratic floor leader Rocky Atkins says, Governor Bevin claims there was a misunderstanding, but the people of Kentucky heard loud and clear what he said, and today's video shows he still does not comprehend why so many were understandably upset. And Representative Jim Wayne of Louisville sharing the same sentiments. Governor Bevin has a difficult time admitting mistakes, and that's, that's sad because we see that people, leaders who admit mistakes, whether it's the Pope or a president or a governor, uh, gain great deal of respect from people. Now, Bevin's comments came shortly after Republican lawmakers voted to override his vetoes of operating budget. Trey Ward, WOKY News.